everybody. Today I'm doing a recreation of my shoot for Bomber Betty Cosmetics um, of the photograph that I did for my first lip gloss, which was My Favorite Me. And I'm actually, I've gotten a lot of requests to do these looks for you guys, so I'm doing a six part tutorial session and the way that I did it when I actually did the photo shoot was I built look on look on look. So basically I'm just going to start with the first look and then I'm going to build upon them and there will be six different videos. And I used Bomber Betty po uh, <laughs> and I used Bomber Betty Cosmetics for all of this, so I'm using everything that I used in the shoot and super exciting, the palette that I'm using, the Cherry Doll Face palette is actually going to be available for sale. So if it's not available already, it will be available shortly and once it is available, the link to purchase it will be below. So I'm really excited, it's got everything that you need, it has six eyeshadows, a highlighter, a blush, and it has all three of my lipsticks that I've already made with them, so they're kind of little samplers, so if you already bought the lipsticks, it's just more, and if you're kind of uh, on the fence, it gives you a little sample of each one so you can try them. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to start with my Bomber Betty Cosmetics uh, foundation, and I'm just going to put some on my hands and then apply it to my entire face. Well, half of my face since this half is already done. And then I'm going to take a sponge, and I'm just going to kind of set the foundation into my skin. Then I'm going to take the Bomber Betty concealer and this is the fairest color that they've got. It comes with a little sponge tip applicator. And I'm just going to apply it underneath my eyes and on my eyelids. This stuff actually makes a really good um, shadow primer as well. You can also use a uh, concealer brush if you'd like to. I just kind of like the way my finger works as a blender. It's totally up to you guys. You can also use this concealer on blemishes if you have them. My skin is actually pretty clear right now, so I'm not going to use any of it. Um, I don't actually have any Bomber Betty uh, powder. I'm not even sure if she makes any, but because I don't have any, I'm just using my True Match powder that I always use just to set the concealer and the foundation and just pat lightly on top of what you've just laid. You don't want to smear it. Now I'm going to take my Bomber Betty Cherry Doll Face Palette and I'm going to take the lightest color right here and a sponge applicator and I'm just going to apply it over the bottom half of my lid and the crease. And by crease I meant uh, the arch of your brow. And I'm also going to apply a little bit of it to the bottom inner corner of my lid. Now I'm going to take my brush and this color on the palette and I'm just going to do my crease with it. Now this look is really subtle so I'm not using super dark shadows and I'm blending really well. You're trying to make it look as natural as possible as you can with fake lashes and the pinup style. Now I'm going to take my Bomber Betty Brow Wow in Julia and my brush and I'm just going to fill in my brows. And if you want more detailed explanation on brows, check out my brow video. Now I'm going to take the same palette again and I'm going to take this highlighter right here and just dust it on the top of my cheekbones. And then I'm going to take the blush from the same palette and just blush my the apples of my cheeks. Now because you want this to be subtle, don't over blush yourself. And if you do accidentally get too much blush, you can always use your powder brush just to kind of tame it. Now I'm going to take my Bomber Betty Black Liquid Eyeliner and I'm just going to do a thin line of eyeliner. Now 
I'm gonna take my lashes. I'm just doing these Ardell 101s and Duo Lash Adhesive. And I'm just going to apply them like I always apply my lashes. Again, if you need more specific help, check out my lash video. And while you're waiting for those to get tacky, I'm just gonna take some mascara and just give my lashes a little bit of a coat to cement the fakes onto my reels. Then you're gonna take your mascara again and give your bottom lashes a good little coat. Now not too much, like I said, this is supposed to be the most subtle look of the six. And then take your eyelash curler and give your lashes a little bit of a curl so that you're kind of smashing them all together. Now I'm gonna take my Bomber Betty Sketch Stick in Twig, which is kind of the, um, I guess it would be like the most nude color that they have, and I'm gonna line my entire mouth. And now I'm gonna take my favorite me, and I'm just going to coat my lips with it. So there we are, our makeup is done, and now let's do hair. Okay, so basically what I've got done to get myself to this point is I have pin curled my hair and I've slept on it overnight. So if you guys are curious how to do pin curls, check out my pin curl video that's right here, and that will get you to this point. And the reason why I slept on was because I wanted the curls to be a little bit tighter, and I feel like they last longer in my hair when I sleep on them. So as you can see, it looks pretty messy right now because I've slept on it. Um, also be sure to pin them flat to your head. These ones, it's okay, you can put these ones in up because you're not covering them, but the ones you're covering, make sure they're flat, otherwise you'll just have smashed, um, like zigzag looking curls and they will not be pretty. So now, you're just going to take out all of your pin curl clips. So once all of your clips are out, you're just gonna go through your curls with your fingers, just to loosen them a little bit. And I'm gonna hug and kiss you. Now I'm gonna take my paddle brush, and I'm actually just gonna, oops, missed a pin. <laughs> I'm actually just going to lightly brush through them to kind of get them all to lay uniformly. And you can take a fine tooth comb and just brush through the top to kind of tame the frizz. Now you're going to take your bangs and you're just going to brush them all together and then on the underneath you're going to give them a good tease so they kind of form one solid unit instead of that three-piece band that they were. And then you're just going to smooth that teeth out and just get them to all lay together. And you can smooth whatever you need to, just kind of arrange them nicely. So that's basically how easy the hair is to do. Now I'm going to take the flowers and these are the Triple Orchid set from Vintage Box 1947. There's three of them. And you're going to put two of them in on this side. And then one over here. And be sure with this one not to smash the bangs that are in there. If you need to reorganize, you can. But that is basically my My Favorite Me look. Um, from my shoot with Bomber Betty Cosmetics. Um, Michelle Morte was the photographer. So hopefully you guys like this look. It, this is kind of the most simple, um, kind of the most delicate feminine look. Uh, if you guys are not uh, familiar with My Favorite Me, it's actually a hashtag um, campaign that I started on Instagram, so check that out. And be sure to keep watching to see all of the other looks that I have made. And thank you for watching, and as always, leave your comments below if you have any suggestions or questions.